they are coming to this country seeking a better life. Many asylum seekers are still waiting for that better life, and others will never see it. Over the weekend, a transgender asylum seeker died at a hospital in El Paso. That's just days after getting released from custody here in our state. Well, tonight, our Brittany Costello learned her case is bringing light to another one. Brittany. Yeah, Alejandra Barrera has been detained for more than a year and a half in Cibola County. She's also a transgender woman from El Salvador. Her supporters say they won't stop until she's out of ICE custody. Alejandra Barrera and her niece had similar stories. They're both transgender from El Salvador and turned themselves in at our border in 2017 seeking asylum. This is a large population that faces discrimination way before they even arrive to our borders. But that's where the two women's stories change. According to Barrera's attorney, Barrera's niece was eventually granted asylum, but Barrera was denied. She also hasn't received parole. We just want her to have the same opportunity that almost every other person who is in her same situation would have had. We're meeting the needs of Flaviano Graciano with the New Mexico Dream Team is one of thousands now rallying around Barrera. After the deaths of two other transgender women held in New Mexico ICE detaining centers, he says there's even more support to get her out of Cibola County, where she's been detained for a year and a half. Wolf is even more concerned because she claims her medical conditions are not getting the attention they need. You will note in the two deaths of transgender women in New Mexico, Roxana and Johanna, both were HIV positive. And these prisons are just not set up to provide adequate medical care. Barrera's attorney is appealing her asylum denial, and they're still fighting for her to be on parole to get proper medical attention. She is also looking to our lawmakers for an internal ICE investigation. Tessa.